We've stopped by the GDC show floor here and we ran into Visions of Samosas, which is a quite different MMO uh, out there. Could you tell us a little bit about what the game is? Yes, we created a MMO collectible card game. Basically, we have taken all the elements that we've liked from other games and then combined them into a collectible card game, into a, what we think is a very unique, one-of-a-kind product that we want to release soon. So what, what does the uh, MMO aspect add to the collectible card game sort of formula? Well, the big thing we've been kind of pitching around is the fact that playing a card game is fun. Playing your card game with your friends is even more fun. And so we've allowed it with uh, playing on a virtual platform, you usually only can play with yourself, but if we throw the MMO aspect on top of it, you can bring your friends in, you can make guilds, you can join factions, and you can all join in on games together and end up just having a good time playing this our game. What, what can you tell us about the setting and the fiction that's in the game? Uh, the setting primarily is set in a uh, renaissance period. I, when you join in the game, you make an avatar. Uh, that's actually a student in a university. When you walk in, you get to talk to your teachers and mentors and all those other fun stuff in there. Uh, but primarily, you have this school mentality where you're trying to learn alchemy the whole time. And you end up learning how to make homogulus, uh, making your decks, and going into the afterlife and test out your skills and fight against other students. So what's, what's, what's the fight going to be like? What's, what's the, the, actual sort of, the actual card game action? What's it going to be play out? How it's going to play out? Well, it's a turn-by-turn -turn game. Uh, we have a random algorithm that lets you go back and forth between the two factions. We have a light side and a dark side, and they go back and forth, who goes first and who goes second, all that other fun stuff. Uh, then primarily, you are given an avatar to be placed on a game board in the virtual world. And through this homogulus, you actually uh, have to cast spells, summon minions, and place ambushes to fend off your opponent, uh, defeat bosses, and in the end, uh, utterly obliterate your opponents. Right. And, uh, and sort of how are you dealing with sort of the, the dice aspects and sort of all of that? Well, our dice aspect is that we ha end up having uh, three major pools that you actually cast all your spells from. Uh, we, they all represent mind, body, and soul. Uh, the real trick is, is this is your main life total. And this is also how you attack and defend against other opponents. So it becomes this real balancing trick in order to uh, determine when, when you're going to attack, when you're going to defend, when you're going to start summoning spells. And if you do it wrong, your dice, are, one of your pools are going to end up zero, and then you lose the game. So what's the strategy when it comes to decks and cards and sort of bringing that, that whole game out? Well, we're going to end up with six different elements. Uh, each element's going to have their own primary way of dealing damage and how they play out. For example, our Earth style is going to end up with more minion-based where the more minions that are on the table, the bigger they get, and then you can just run over your opponents after you get that high. Well, our, the opposite element for that is lightning, where it's more faster, come up into you and hit you, red, hit you hard and fast. If you'd compare uh, the card system to any existing card game that's out there, you know, physical cards, what, what, what would you compare it to? I really don't have one that I can compare it to. Uh, we've looked at other card systems and we have tried to do something different. We've looked at uh, some of them and most of the time it's two people sitting across from the table with each other and they try to get a really big number and smash their heads together and whoever's left standing is the winner. For us, we've kind of taken that element away from you, making it so that it's more of a strategy game versus just simply a number crunch game. And uh, what's the business plan and how will you sort of get, get the game out there? Well, the game's going to be free to play. Uh, we're going to end up basing it off a microtransaction system where you can actually buy booster deck packs, buy individual cards. And uh, obviously uh, when you play more games you get in-game currency so you can buy those with that currency as well. But it's mainly going to be primarily the booster packs and the cards. Uh, we also have set up where you have a room system where you can actually buy items for your room, buy items to customize your avatar, and so that the more you get, the more impressive you look and the more reputation you end up within the game servers. And what's the roadmap ahead the, for release and so on? 
Uh, we are currently in a late alpha state, uh, but we plan on having a closed beta within the next month or two. And then we plan in for uh, a quarter four uh, release date.